Welcome, everyone. This is the WNBA on 2K Sports. Tonight, we'll see the New York Liberty as they play against the Washington Mystics. Alongside Tim Swartz and Brian Benefitemi, I'm Blake Suniga. Thanks for joining us. And both of these teams love to push it. Tim, what are some things that all great fast break teams have in common? Great defense. That's the first thing. You have to force turnovers. You also have to pass the ball well, get it up the court. Obviously, it doesn't hurt to have some fast players, too. And just as important is knowing when to run. Now, pushing it is great, sure. But doing it in the wrong situation can lead to turnovers. And doing it too fast can turn it over, too. Now here's Nurse. Back to Charles. Four on the clock. Fades. That one a little long. Well, I'm going to say the defense got pretty lucky right there because she's going to make a lot more of those than she misses when she gets that much room. Here's Walker Kimbrough. Deladon outside. Good, and she makes her first shot of the game. A bump, not enough to stop Deladon. She almost invites contact as she goes up. Nurse outside. Oh! So the whistle blows on the shot. Two free throws for the contact there. Well, the defense looking to protect the rim at all costs there. Something you struggled with in your career, Tim, but definitely saved the layup with that foul. She's going to have to earn him at the line. She makes the first. And the Mystics are another team that prefers to do their work from outside. Now, Elena Deladon leads the way, but they have a handful of great shooters, most notably Christy Tolliver, who can carry the shooting load for the team. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. And with Washington, they shoot from outside, but still don't push the pace. Yeah, Blake, the Mystics are a team that will look for the most efficient shot. Doesn't mean they want to get up and down the floor. Rare to see a, a slow-paced team take a lot of threes. Deladon shots good. With the size to bully defenders inside, Deladon's a tough matchup for uh, really any opponent. Now here's Boyd. Pass to Nurse. Here's Zoe B. Here's Boyd. Misa uncovering. And here's Charles. That shot missing. Here's Walker Kimbrough. Come on the screen! Come on the screen! Here's Atkins. Pass to Deladon. Just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Great D that time from Tina Charles. Outside Boyd. Now Nurse. Nisimon pulls it in. Here's Walker Kimbrough. Pass to Atkins. Shot from 16. They get it back. Oh! Foul called that time on the way up, and that'll give her two chances at the free throw line. Defenders get anxious against prolific scorers like Misaman, and I think it's really because she doesn't let opponents take a single play off. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And 
the first one falls for her. Well, while most uh, in the U.S. start their professional careers at 21, 22 years old, Europeans like Emma Miesemann start much younger. Her first season as a pro was just uh, when she was 16 years old in her native Belgium. And she makes both free throws. And Emma was so strong at a young age. In 2011, named the World Young Player of the Year. It's so impressive what she's done. Misa Mann has played on multiple championship teams for clubs in Europe. And in the WNBA, guys, she's made a great adjustment to the American game as well. Well, we all know basketball is all about the three ball. That's what Christy Tolliver brings to your team. Just about a 40% career shooter from beyond the arc. Tolliver is a huge asset in today's game. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. And talking about Tolliver's shooting, she put on a show during the 2016 playoffs. And Tolliver shot over 40% from three-point range for the Sparks in 2016. And with Candace Parker and Neko Agumake, they were all able to help L.A. win the championship as Tolliver helped spread the floor with her shooting. Both shots good from the strike. Third pick in the draft. WNBA All-Star, WNBA Champion. I mean, what hasn't Tolliver accomplished in this league? Now here's Nurse. Poked away. Right side, Tolliver. The shot's good on the assist by Elena Deladon. It has taken them no time to build this lead up. Great first quarter for them offensively. Yeah, but they can't sit back. They need to keep the pressure on the defense and really try to put this one away early. Great point, Brian. You have to continue to build on this lead. Now here's Boyd. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Pass to Charles. And she can't stop this drought. Another miss. Still can't get anything to fall after five chances. Here's Walker Kimbrough, Boyd covering. Walker Kimbrough misses. Yeah, she tried to fight her way through traffic and just couldn't do it. Nurse with the bucket. That assist got a little nod from her teammate after the bucket. The Mystics with the lead. Outside Tolliver. on outside six to shoot and she makes good on the layup they started strong shots are just falling oh yeah shots are falling indeed they're off to a very strong start offensively let's see if they can keep it up now here's Charles pass to nurse now we be with it. And the Mystics on the break. Here's Walker Kimbrough. Drops in the breakaway layup. They get to string many stops together, and they're going to have to if they want a chance to really win this game. Yeah, defensively, they have been more than a step slow. Here's Nurse. Outside Boyd. Rebounded by Tolliver. Here's Walker Kimbrough. And she drops in the layup off the glass. They keep going down low with the ball, and it keeps resulting in points. Extremely positive. I mean, that's a very nice lead to have this early in the ball game. They've come out on fire out of the gates. Here's Allen. He hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Charles. And it's good. Two points. Tough make. You don't end up making over 2,000 baskets like Charles without some hard ones. Time called here. The Mystics decide to talk it over. End of the year. Clubs jockeying for position. Tim, 
how do you avoid a late season collapse? Easier said than done, but focus is number one. It's such a grueling season. If you lose your edge, this league will eat you up. A night off equals a loss. Remember too, Brian, this is just a 34-game schedule. Yeah, it's much more of a boat race than an NBA season that is 82 games, as the impact of a three, four, five-game losing streak is much greater. So in terms of not collapsing, a huge key for me is making sure you stay healthy. So, you know, if you're hurting and you need a night off, take it off. Washington has possession. Pass to Deladon. Takes the 13 footer. Here's Sanders. Good for the basket, starting off one for one with that shot. They're finding lanes to the hoop every time down. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. Or at least some fight. Right. Hawkins covering. Pass to Hartley. Tries again. Rejected by Elena Deladon. People forget Deladon's one of the best shot blockers in the league. She helped prevent buckets, too. Sanders to the inside. Tolliver, that's good. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking that rim, Brian. That's right. It's been all good at one end. And let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other. Now here's Durr. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Excellent defense there from Elena Deladon. A good look for Christy Tolliver. The shot's good on the assist by Elena Deladon. You see, they're perfectly content to keep going to that mid-range jumper if the defense will continue to give it to them. And I like that. If the defense is uh, forcing you to shoot it, then hey, make them pay. You know, it's all about getting looks. You get an open look, take it. And they've used that shot to great effect. Right. And a foul on the shot. She'll go to the strike for two. And first trip to the free throw line for her in this one. both from the line. The Mystics on offense. 16-point lead. Pass to Powers. Now Sanders. Now here's Cloud. Not someone who normally gets to the line. Cloud does uh, earn a trip there this time. Her first trip to the line. Natasha Cloud at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Well, you know, to be honest, most second round picks don't make it. But Natasha Cloud has. She's worked extremely hard to become a starting player in the WNBA. Oh. 
No good on the second, so she hits one of two. They've been sensational on the boards to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a good word for it, Tim. That's good. You usually have the right word for these kinds of situations. Just tearing it up on the glass. How kind of you, Brian. The Mystics on offense. 15-point game. The second-round pick in the 2015 WNBA draft. Rashonda Gray has been a bit of an underdog in this league. She's been getting better each season, though, and I think that she could become a premier talent pretty soon. Yeah, her touch has deserted her this quarter. Nowhere to be found. Outside to Oliver. Ariel Powers on the wing. Just five on the clock. Loud inside. Boots over Hartley. That one off the back iron and out. Here's New York now. Down by 15. And it's Aisha Durr off the drive. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Well, to be a good offensive rebounder, you have to really hustle. And Gray certainly has a full grasp of that. Now here's Hawkins. Looking for her first basket still in this one. side. Back to Gray. Hartley with it. And no good trying to get that one. And an overpowering first quarter effort. Already a double digit advantage. The Mystics on top. They lead by 13. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. for a more tightly contested quarter as we move into the second. And guys, we've seen the Mystics really take control here. Some great defense on their part so far in this one. They've really worked well as a unit to help on drives and rotations. And the Liberty with possession here. Don't give us space! Don't give us space! Outside Durr. is how we be. Shot clock at six. Left block shot on the way. The shot is good off the backboard. The Mystics on offense. Left side Tolliver. Amanda Zawibi with the block. Now here's right. She's covered by Cloud. Pass to Zawibi. To the middle. Here's Durr. Goes back up. And she lays it up and in. Known more for her shooting than her finishing. But don't you dare sleep on Durr's touch around the basket. Outside Tolliver. Pass to Cloud. The three ball. Shot comes out. So New York will take it the other way. Hartley with it. And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. Floats one. And the rebound goes to the Mystics. That's the way you want to defend. Nice job there. Always so important to have that strong interior defense. She did so well to lead her teammate right to the ideal spot. That's the kind of playmaking coaches like to see. Now here's Hartley. She hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Durr up top, defended by Sanders. Durr shot is off. There's no way around it. It's been a difficult game for her offensively, and it has cost her team. Pass to Cloud. Oh. Oh. Here's 
finds Allen. And stolen by Bria Hartley. Here's Durr. That one falls. What a gritty effort from Durr on the contact finish. No foul, no problem. Outside Tolliver. Ball's knocked loose. That's an excellent box out, keeping herself between the opposing player and the basket. That one goes in. Well, we've seen that more than a few times. Easy bucket in the paint. The interior defense at that end has been lifeless, to say the least. Now here's Tolliver. She's got eight. Lays it up and banks it in. And guys, her consistent shooting, it's helped them take this lead. And the Liberty call time here. They got to be concerned with all the missed shots. Uh, every team is going to go through cold streaks. But when you go through those cold streaks, you have to find ways to stay productive. Yeah, and the coach might be telling them to try to get to the line, earn some points on some freebies, because sometimes the free throw line can be your best friend when the shots aren't falling from the field. York trailing here. Hey, eyes out, Wonder. Don't give her space. And here is Nurse. Pass to Allen. Charles. Outside Boyd. Down to five on the shot clock. Charles, good. That's their third straight make off an assist, and it's always good when you can score points by getting teammates involved. Yeah, that's just great ball movement. Here's Walker Kimbrough. Pass to Misaman. Walker Kimbrough, defended by Nurse. And the basket by Walker Kimbrough. Not a flashy passer per se, but Misaman can move the ball well and locate her open teammates. It's Kia Nurse on the wing. to Charles. Here's Allen from downtown. Second chance shot. Outside Boyd. Fires from deep. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing her first attempt. Doesn't usually force shots or over dribble. Boyd plays in control and it's part of why she succeeds on the catch and shoot. Atkins with it. She's picked up by Charles. Here's Cloud. He's guarded closely. Misaman, no good. And the Liberty with possession here. They've only given up six here in this quarter. Up top, Boyd. She's covered by Cloud. Back to Nurse. Makes it off the glass. It's not hard to see why they're giving up points on this run. Just too many looks from in close. You know, usually when teams give up runs like this, it's because they allow chances from inside. Make them beat you from deep. Now here's Misman. Raises up. And it's Atkins missing. Anybody want to bet that she won't miss that shot the next time she takes it? Outside Boyd. Be. Nurse up top. Shoots the three. Rebounded by Walker Kimbrough. The Mystics with the lead. Pass to Cloud. Atkins. Now here's Miesemann. 
trying her luck from deep. It's hauled in by Brittany Boyd. And it's New York's ball. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting in the paint, and they keep scoring points. And you know, Brian, there's not really a lot you can do as a defense when they keep getting in the paint like they have been on this run. On the wing, Natasha Cloud. Back to Misaman. Outside, Atkins. To stop the drought, Green for two points. With the passion and commitment for the whole game, and not just a part of it, Atkins has enhanced a complete skill set. Now here's Charles. Pass to Nurse. Her shot is good. Scores her third basket in six attempts. I think that's 50%. And the Mystics call time here. Walker Kimbrough. Back to Cloud. Up top, Misaman. Walker Kimbrough. Clock at four. Amanda Zawibi with the block. Here's Allen. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. I like the recognition that we're seeing from Boyd. And she kind of makes it effortless the way she locates her open teammates. Now here's Cloud. Pass to Deladon. Hawkins. Here's Walker Kimbrough. Cloud with it. Defended by Nurse. Cloud can't get it to go. You know, typically she has the touch to finish when she's in that tight. Not sure what happened there. Zowie B gets the bucket. Wow. Yes. I mean, come on. That's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, it's just nowhere to be found. They have to start committing more bodies down low. Now here's Cloud. Pass to Deladon. Now Hawkins. The shot's good on the assist by Elena Deladon. Look, elite scorers like Deladon understand they won't be the ones scoring the ball every time. Nice job of keeping her teammates in front. Charles with it. She's covered by Cloud. Nurse outside. Now we be. Back to Nurse. Jacks up a three. Elena Deladon with the rebound. To Walker Kimbrough. Nice! Four for seven from the floor with that shot. And a two for one opportunity here if they want it. And if I'm them, if I'm in their seats, if I'm on the, on the bench of the game, I go for it. It's outside. About three seconds between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Walker Kimbrough. 
Eight points for her. Misamon, Boyd covering. Clock at six. Cloud. The three-pointer off the mark. Here's Nurse. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that has been very close so far. Mystics ahead, up by two. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. looking to pull away in the last half of the game. A fantastic game from Christy Tolliver in this one. Her decision making, simply flawless today. Nothing but quality shots from her in the first half. She wasn't forcing anything. Yeah, but I think here in the second half, they may want her to be a little more assertive and start taking more shots, even the tough ones. Start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first two quarters. Pass to Nurse. Now Charles. Deladon covering. Fade away. And misses it off the right side of the rim. The Mystics leading. And so she earns a trip to the line. Official saw the contact, and she'll shoot two. That one on Charles. An all-around scorer like Della Don will take points any way she can get him. Efficient at the line, he's happy to draw that foul. And this is her first free throw of the game. On well, my research, something I remember from their last game, she was sensational at the free throw strike. She was. Uh, attacked. Got to the line a ton and then cashed in on her chances. And the first one drops. Guys, remember, Elena Deladon was the top recruit in the country at a high school. Incredibly, after transferring from a huge hoop school to closer home, her first year in college was spent playing volleyball. So she gets them both. Thankfully for Hoops fans everywhere, Della Don picked up Hoops again at Delaware. And what a career she ended up having. Yeah, just a special player, especially at the mid-major level. Multiple-time All-American. Her career scoring average was 27, and that probably helped her get drafted second overall in 2013. Here's Walker oh. Kimbrough. Her first trip to the line.
first free throw is good. She hits both of them. New York trailing here. Outside Boyd. Pass to Allen. Charles. Here's Nurse. That falls. Nice feed that time from Tina Charles. A very nice rhythm to her shot. Nurse is not someone you want to, to start hitting threes. They can come in bunches when she gets going. Here's Walker Kimbrough. Boyd covering to the paint. Here's Atkins. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Give an assist there, uh, not for a pass, but for the solid screen set on the inside that freed her up and really just made that layup possible. Now here's Charles. Pass to Boyd. Charles. The shot off that time. Alina Deladon with a defensive effort. by Rebecca Allen. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Mystics will retain possession. Here's Tolliver. She's got 10. Jacks up a three. Connects from three-point range. An elite level player for an extended period of time. Tolliver has been torching defenses for years. Now here's Nurse. 11 points in the game. To the right side. Pass to Charles. That one drops for Only one player in the history of the WNBA has made more two-point buckets than Tina Charles. Making hoops inside is her bread and butter. Here's Walker Kimbrough. Gets it to drop, and he's now shooting at a five for eight clip. Their second half has started well. They've been good on three of their first four attempts. I like to see that. Pass to Allen. Got a piece of it. Nurse. Shot clock at five. Elbow shot on the way. No good off the back of the rim. The shot was there for her. She had to take it. And I don't care if she didn't convert. She should take it again next time. Now here's Della Don. Eight points for her. Zowie B with the defensive effort. Here's Allen, defended by Atkins. Nurse outside. Rebounded by the Mystics. They led by as many as 18 points. The three from Christy Tolliver. Ooh, no luck on that one. So New York will take it the other way. They really want to find that igniter here. That's right. Their offense is ground to a standstill. Maybe you need to suit up, Tim. They need a spark. Here's Walker Kimbrough. That one, no good. Here's New York now. Eight-point game. Pass to Boyd. Back to Nurse. Again, it's the Liberty missing. She keeps trying to force it up when she's guarded, and she's just getting brick after brick. Here's my suggestion. Move the ball around. Now here's Della Don. Eight points for her. No good there. He and Nurse playing some nice D. Trying to get back on track. The second chance effort. And here they come. 
lets the floater go. And the basket by Walker Kimber. The teardrop is one of those, oh no, oh no, oh yes, shots. New York calls timeout. Tough to see. She has not been on her game. She's been forcing a lot of shots. They've suffered because of it. It's time for her to let her teammates get involved. picking up the assist. Backed by a wide-ranging offensive skill set, Durant can really mix up defenders. Now here's Powers. Wyatt so far offensively searching for first points of the game. The floater. Second shot opportunity. And you can count it. She'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. With her height and skill, if you're going to hack at Deladon, you better hope she doesn't get the shot up. This will be her third free throw shot of the game. Well, 2014 was so disappointing for Deladon. Her season cut short because of Lyme disease. She came back strong in 2015, winning WNBA MVP honors with Chicago. Now here's Durr. Eight points for her. Charles with it. Deladon's there. Hawkins outside. And right on through for another basket. He's got five made on five for nine shooting. And that 2015 MVP season, Della Don led the league in scoring, making a giant leap forward. Yeah, and since that season, guys, we've seen Della Don get settled into the WNBA. And don't forget, she earned a spot on that incredible 2016 gold medal USA team. Hartley shot is off. He's having all sorts of problems with her shots. Yeah, the words ice and cold come to mind with the way she's shooting the ball. Now here's Tolliver. She's got 13. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Powers. Over Durr. A rebound by Gray. She had all the space she needed, but just could not find the bottom of the bucket. And it's stolen by Tolliver. Powers on the wing, guarded by Durr. And here's Hawkins. Outside Powers. Shot clock at six. Here's Della Don. Here's Sanders. Up and in on the way. One of the stories when you look at the book of this game is the second chance points. Great job here in the second half, don't you think? And the Liberty call time here. You know, one thing I admire about Sanders is her resiliency. Dealing with major injuries and anemia might slow down others, but not her.
Hartley. She hasn't yet put up any points in this one. To end the run. Pass to right. Trey, Deladon covering. Just five to shoot. Here's Hartley. And the rebound goes to the Mystics. They led by as many as 18 points. Down right now in the game, you can look at her performance as a direct indicator of why they are losing. Not enough bodies on the glass right there, and they paid for it. And it'll happen again and again if they don't put more effort into boxing out. That's what it's all about, Brian. Rebound. Effort. Nice pass. She got that ball right into her teammate's shooting pocket, and it yielded great results. Outside Sanders. Inside. In the basket by Deladon. Well, they can't ask much more of her than what she's done this quarter. Hartley outside. Pass to right. Left side to her. Free throw line jumper. And Charles is going to pick up the foul. That'll be her second foul of the game. Now Cloud. Pass to Powers. Sanders. And that one's good. Hawkins. But defensively, they've been unable to shut down the most important part of the court, Brian, the middle. Yeah, and the point totals in the paint are tilted heavily against them now. Now here's Wright. Asia Durr on the wing. Puts it up from 12. And Hawkins pulls it down. Pass to Powers. Outside Sanders. And here's Deladon. Clock at six. And stolen by Bria Hartley. Gray left side. Right outside. Five on the clock. And again, it's the Liberty missing. Deladon with it. Ah, no good on the last second attempt there. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. The Mystics on top, up 19. And time for a short break. Stay right where you are. The fourth quarter is coming up next. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. Well, I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. And with the accuracy to go along with that vision, she put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That is how you orchestrate. And we welcome you back as we get going into the fourth quarter. The final quarter of play can change everything. Now here's Powers. Misses the layup. Well, despite her ineffectiveness, the team has found other scoring options. And here is Hartley. Gray outside. Durr. Pass to Charles. And they double up Tina Charles. Here's Hartley. Misses the tray. The Mystics on offense. Up top, Deladon. Outside, Powers. And here's Cloud. He's guarded by Hartley. Five to shoot. Back to Powers. Shoots over Hartley. Here's Deladon. It's good, and she drew the contact on the shot, so she'll go to the line. Three-point play opportunity. And guys, around the country, we've seen the WNBA take a role in helping youngsters learn to play the game the right way. Absolutely. I mean, just look at all the great things the league does every year with their junior WNBA week. 
teams host a variety of youth basketball events in their markets, and also they encourage fans to join the conversation via social media. Always great to give back to the kids, but don't forget, the top level players, the NBA players, learn from WNBA players too. All-star Draymond Green has said that he learns more from studying the WNBA because of their fundamentals. Now here's Durr. Here's Nurse. Nissan pulls it in. Man, they're in complete control. Everything they're doing, it's been working out. Wow. Pass to Cloud. Misamon. Cloud inside. On the money from 12 feet away. I love a point who can hit from this range. Cloud just gives uh, the D another thing to worry about when she scores from there. Allen got a piece of it Pass to nurse Boots over Della Dawn they get the rebound and it's gonna be two free throws drew contact on the shot Most of these incredible athletes also play in the WNBA offseason all around the world. Now, Tim, what are some of the advantages of this year-round schedule? Well, I think it Take really helps with skill. These players are getting Two more shots. technical by the year. And the more you play, the better you get. It also helps expose the game worldwide. And you see everyone is in game Just have to make sure that you're getting some rest because you got to take care of your body. He's off on the second. You kind of think Emma Misamund was born with a basketball in her hands. Growing up in Belgium, she was immersed in the game. Gray outside, outside Boyd. Allen, defended by Atkins. Pass to Boyd. Zowie B, shoots over Della Dawn. Zowie B gets the bucket. And Misaman has done her mother and country proud, a great player for her national team. Well, Emma was huge in helping Belgium qualify for their first ever major international tournament, the 2018 World Championship. Ended up being an incredible uh, success for Belgium, making it all the way to the semis. Nice work inside. Hard to get that one to go over the bigger defender. Well, it was never going to be easy. A little artistry on the inside. Call it maybe a Rembrandt. Now here's how we be. Nurse up top, looking to get it going. It's two on one. Back to Atkins. Pass to Misamon. Atkins with it. Oliver, Boyd covering. Left side, Tolliver. Here's Walker Kimbrough. From the high post. The rebound by Zowie B. Nurse outside. Now Boyd. And the growth of the WNBA, like the NBA and other sports leagues, driven more these days by the stars of the game. How much does it mean to the league as a whole to see the emergence of these new WNBA stars? Yeah, it's the lifeblood of the league, really. Fans want to see the best. It's a star-driven league. So the key is replacing the older superstars with the fresh new one. And now in the WNBA, we've seen an influx of talent with each draft. And right now, the league is in great hands with young stars like Asia Wilson, Kelsey Plum, Kelsey Mitchell, just to name a few. New York calls timeout. They've seen enough scoring in the paint and wanted to send a message to their team. Lock things up inside. Yeah, you're right, Tim. I guarantee you this talk centers around cutting down on all those points coming against them in the paint. And maybe it's more help, it's the front of player, they've got to try something.
competitions here. Here's Johannes. Pass to Rain Kakakunwe. Here's Johannes. Defended by Atkins. Shot clock at five. Here's Johannes. Can't hit from in close. Pushing it up. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. Another good pass. Impressive offensive execution from them. Yeah, passing has kept the defense off balance. Four straight field goals made off an assist. Here's Johannes. It's Kia Nurse on the wing. Tries to snap the cold streak. And that's two points on the layup. Give an assist there, uh, not for a pass, but for the solid screen set on the inside that freed her up and really just made that layup possible. And guys, sports science, a new buzz phrase. We're learning about the importance of sleep and recovery. How much of this do you really feel makes a difference on the court? If players have even uh, the slightest advantages against their opponents, they'll take it. We've long known about the importance of recovery, but athletes take it much more seriously now than in years past. Yeah, and I applaud them for that. You feel good, you'll probably play good, and nowadays, Players are also more conscious of life after basketball. They want to be healthy even when they're years removed from their playing days. Here's Rain Kakakunwe. Pass to Johannes. Fires for three. It's money from deep. Perfect screen there. Set her up with a terrific look. Yeah, but that's a bad job by the defender to not fight through that screen to contest. You want to see more effort there. Now here's Atkins. And there's the foul. It's on Nurse. That's her third foul of the game. Well, the WNBA is pretty integrated with the NBA, but do you guys see any other avenues the leagues could explore together? One thing I've always thought about, Blake, is merging the All-Star festivities somehow. Now, remember, uh, the WNBA used to have players participate in the NBA Shooting Stars Challenge, but what if the NBA's three-point shootout also featured a few of the best star shooters from the WNBA? I like that well, idea, Brian, and pushing the envelope a bit further. What about All-Star Game integration? Each team could have a WNBA player or two on the court at all times. I think that would make for some awesome entertainment. Now here's Boyd. Allen, defended by Atkins. West side, Charles. Back to Boyd. Pass to Allen. And stolen by Atkins. And pushing it up, here's Washington. Count it. And they're really keeping that ball hopping around. Yeah, hip hopping around, if you ask me. Look, their last five trips have all ended with a great pass leading to a hoop. They are really sharing the basketball. Now here's Nurse. Allen, defended by Atkins. Now here's Boyd. Pass to Charles. Three on the clock. Over Tolliver. And it's Charles missing. One item that stood out is their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking, and more importantly, it's tough to defend. Deladon, right side. Atkins. Misamon, covered by Zowie B. Back to Atkins. Let's lose for three. The shot will not fall. And New York will come the other way. Here's Boyd. Sweet little floater. Look at the soft touch. Just a gentle little teardrop. Now here's Tolliver. Here's Walker Kimbrough. Outside Atkins. Unloads from 13 feet. Tolliver, no good. And the Liberty with possession here. Right side, Boyd. 
And guys, thinking of small markets versus big markets, uh, how does that impact WNBA franchises? Like, I think all-star players want to play in big markets where the, where the lights are brighter and the, the situations are more high profile. I think the idea of playing in New York or Los Angeles might be more attractive to a big-time player than you know, Phoenix, for example. Yeah, and exposure is certainly a big part of it, uh, especially as an increasing number of players want to maximize their brands during their playing careers. But small markets can still succeed. You know, you mentioned Phoenix, Tim. They just won a WNBA championship not too long ago. Here's Allen. Pass to Boyd. On the money from 12 feet away able to get shots off within the flow of the offense and to me that speaks to Boyd's patience and trusting approach. Here's Walker Kimbrough. Now here's Atkins defended by Nurse. Outside Atkins. Pass to Deladon. The fader. And she comes up with the deuce. Another basket, and if you were to create an offensive player, it might look like Elena Deladon. The size, the skill to score from anywhere. So it's the Mystics winning this one easily. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you just have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. I know their fans appreciated it. We saw the excellent defense, a potent offensive effort, and they were pretty much dominant. And that's a wrap, everyone.